So earlier I did not know much about the tele rotations. I thought maybe first we'll have to just sit and observe uh, what is going on in the clinic over there. But here it is exactly as if we are present over there. It's just virtually we are uh, making the notes and everything. But it, it gives you a feeling that you're actually in the clinic, talking to the real patients, uh, taking down their history and making notes. That's that's a really really nice experience and I'm sure we'll be able to learn a lot uh, about the US health system and how their clinics work and how the hospital works. Two, Hello, one. I'm Dr. Diptish. I'm one of the interns working with Dr. Saad and currently it's 7 p.m. in India and we'll be working till 3.30 a.m. in the morning. This is the app that we use that I think I'm used. So I want to the nurse will help us get in. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what would you like, Hyperius or Google? Yeah, I'll use Hyperius. Hey, Diptish, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, Pratik and you. Yeah, hi. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. So I'll be using Hyperius to log in and we can control the computers over there, okay? So after taking the entire history, uh, one of the consultant will come in and then they'll discuss it with the patient and we have to note down the additional points that we have uh, asked and uh, that the consultant is asking in, in the notes section and we have to do it all by ourselves. Everything, all the minute details, we have to mention it um, in the EMR by ourselves from here, okay? And then the uh, consultant will make a plan, probably we'll add a medication or we'll or reduce a medication, we'll add a blood work, or we add a code swap test, or PCR, whatever it is. And the entire plan, we have to mention it in the uh, plan section of the of the EMR of that particular patient. So basically, it's a nice experience. We get to understand the EMR section of uh, of the US Health. We we actually have to do everything over here. All the entire notes like from from the beginning till the end we get to write uh, we get to type the notes of the patient and that's a really very very good thing so this is the EMR website and here we can see the patients and uh, we can select the patient and then go ahead with the history we can also, we can also see me over here and here is what we'll see, uh, the patient. The patient will be sitting over here in front of us and we'll be taking history. So he can also see me. We can also make the notes over here. And uh, wow. that's how it goes. We walk. Uh, I'll say. So it is almost 7 p.m. Uh, in India and uh, uh, there back there in U.S. it will be 8.30 a.m. This is the time we log in. So what you have to do is just to log in at this, this website and then I want to put my name. And here's the video start. One of the senior interns will come and guidance and they will take us in. This is the EMR. This is the site where we can see the patients and we can uh, then select the patient. You can also see that my window is also there. We can also see the patients over here. I just changed the window and here the patient will be sitting at the uh, nurse will come and she will take the vitals of the patient and she'll inform us and here we will add that and then after that we'll add the details that the patient will give us and after that uh, the consultant will join us and then I have to present the case that uh, the entire thing that the entire history the patient has given and then the consultant really uh, discuss the case with us and we'll also ask a couple more questions to the uh, patient and that's how it goes. And then you make a plan for the patient. And we, I have to 
actually make the uh, note of each and everything that the gun center tells us. Or uh, the subjective part, the objective part, the vitals, the uh, chief companies, or the assessment that has been done, a uh, blood test, previous reports, previous shielding reports, previous blood reports. I have that. It depends what you have to the plan that we have made. So basically we can uh, look at the patient, the patient can look at us and we can have a flow of fluent conversation. Okay, the patient will feel comfortable with us and uh, after the entire history, the consultant will come in and we have to present it to them and then we will make a plan according to today's visit. So on daily basis, we can see around 10 to 15 cases. We have to take the history and once the consultant walks in, we have to uh, present the case. So we get to present the case each day and we can do that like 8 to around 15 cases a day. So that's a great opportunity uh, to pay for the people who cannot fly to US currently because of their visa status or uh, whatever the reason be. This is a great opportunity because it's really good. We can talk to the patients. We know how to talk to patients uh, over there uh, being in India. We can talk to the patients over there. We can uh, note down the history of the EMR. We learned EMR uh, virtually from here. And uh, this is act these are the actual notes. These are uh, not like uh, uh, just uh, rough ones or something. These are the real notes that we will be filling uh, of each and every patient. And we'll be discussing it with the consultant. They'll make a plan and everything. And we have to type. So that's a really good experience. So this is the clinic room. Here we can see the patient. And as we change the tab, we can see the EMR. Here we have to write down all the information that patient gives up. And we have to add the notes, the entire history, the vitals, the blood tests, anything that is to be done, the entire plan and everything that needs to be uh, done, we, we, we type it over here uh, on this page. This is the EMR, this is practice fusion. Okay. So for example, the patient has come here for the follow-up after one week. The patient had flu or something. So we can always go back to the previous encounter. And we can check what all, what the vitals at that time. And we can currently ask them like what is exactly going on right now. Or how are you feeling and everything. And then we can go according to the plan. If we need to stop the medications. Or do we need to add something. Or do we need to do the repeat blood tests. Okay, so it's very patient oriented. And we need to be aware of the previous encounters as well. So it's like whenever the patient comes in. We have a lot of things to do. Apart from just uh, taking the history, making notes simultaneously and also we have to simultaneously check for the previous blood reports, previous urine reports, previous encounters like what were the symptoms and we have to then uh, correlate them right now. And if, if, for example, if we want something else like that has uh, not been done, like if they have taken the vitals and if we want some something else to be done, uh, for example, if we want uh, another... Uh, we need to take the blood pressure once again. We need to take the temperature or something like that. So we can inform it in the group and one of the nurse will uh, come over in the clinic and then they'll take the whatever measurements we want. They'll uh, immediately do that and inform us so that we can go ahead with the history taking. And then when the consultant comes in, we, we discuss the case and the consultant makes a plan. So basically we get the uh, access to the patient's history, the patient's medications, what they're taking, and well, everything about the patient. And we can go refer the previous encounters as well. And we can ask the uh, patient over there uh, regarding those uh, visits. I've been working here since almost 19 days. So the entire team is very, very helpful to nurses, to consultants and the uh, senior interns and the hands-on uh, interns. Uh, uh, we have a we have a small group on WhatsApp where we share each and everything. If we have any problem, if we have any concern, we should have to mention it over there. And the entire team gets on to it and they come and help us. So they have the access to the computers over there physically. So if we have any issue, technical issue, or if the patient is ready, or if there's something wrong with the patient which needs uh, 
immediate action so we just have to inform them in the group and then the uh, one of the concerned persons immediately comes and helps us so approximately it's 3:25 a.m in india so that is like uh, 5 p.m in us it's a uh, 5 p.m est and we are currently done with our today's shift uh this is the chair where the patient our patient comes and lays down and virtually we ask them the questions over here we have just added the notes everything done with that for today here to be well be you see you until next time thank you have a great day and i hope it helps but